all to profit from it. But if you cannot dress it, and you don't know how to keep it, right. then you cannot profit from it. Right. Yeah. Uh, who the Lord is talking yeah. to here? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And the Lord God took the man and he placed the man where? In the garden. Yeah. And what did he tell the man? Yeah. Dress the garden and what? Keep and keep it. Some of the child say hallelujah. Yeah. If you cannot keep or you cannot take care of what God has blessed you with, yeah. then you cannot benefit from it. If you cannot raise your children with love, with impartation of wisdom, with impartation of understanding, with let truly them to say that uh, an other man is the devil worship. If you do not apply yourself, then you cannot get nothing from from what God has blessed you with. Is that right? Read our verse over some, yeah. Mm -hmm. God took the, man. the Lord God took the man, took the man and put him into the garden. He eat. put the man in the garden of Eden to, to, to dress it and to what? And to what? To keep it. The earth is for you and I to benefit from it. But if you cannot eat it, then you cannot benefit from it. If you cannot take care of your portion of land that God has given you, you cannot benefit from it. If you cannot take care of the portion of your family that God has blessed you with, then you cannot benefit the blessing that's supposed to come in your house. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Do, that make, do that make a sense? Amen. Somebody shall say I'm blessed, I'm, blessed. I'm healed, Amen. and I'm delivered. Amen. Now read the read 16th verse. Mm -hmm. the, Lord God commanded the, man. the Lord, what did the Lord God do? Commanded the man. He commanded the man. And every tree in the garden, may freely eat. you may freely eat from it. Yes. Is that right? That verse 16? Yes. Or what? Or what? Every tree where? Of the every tree where? The garden. I can't hear. Every tree where? Of the garden. Every tree where? Of the garden. He put you in the garden to dress the garden and to keep it. Yes. Then he said, yeah, what you have planted in the garden. The tree that I have empowered you to play in the garden. Uh, uh, who the Lord talking to here? I hope you get in the understanding. Is that right? The tree that is planted in the garden. God purposely planted them there. He did not tell you what kind of tree they were, but he just planted them. He did not tell you how tall the tree were, but he gave up, planted them. Ah, oh, who the Lord talking to you? I think he is someone. Say that song. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Read, read our voice over again. Once again, once again. Read it over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Read it. And the Lord God commanded the man. The Lord God commanded the man. Saying, with Every tree in the garden. Every tree in the garden. Thou may freely eat. You were free to eat. Uh huh. You were free to eat of the garden. If you read the book of St. John, St. John, here the man was born blind. And Jesus healed this man from his blindness. Somebody shout and say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But when Jesus laid hands on this man to heal this man, when the man eye popped open, Jesus asked the man, What do you see? The man said, What? I saw men as what? A tree. Oh my goodness. I see what? Men are trees. And God is saying that every tree that I have introduced to you, it is for your benefits. Do not criticize whom God sent in your life to be your blessing. It can be a woman session. Oh, he did. Come on now. It can be a lesbian. It, it, it can be a known witchcraft. It can be a known sorcerer. God reserved the will of the wicked for the righteous. So do not criticize who God sent in your life to be a blessing to you. You is that right? I know you are not practicing their lifestyle. Oh, who the Lord talking to here? Is that right? I know you are never. Say that, say that, say that. Let's take care. I know you are never. Practicing.
chastening their lifestyle, God said, I send them to be a blessing to you. He can be a homosexual doctor. God said, I send him in your life to be a healer to you. Some of the shall say hallelujah. He can be a homosexual millionaire or a lesbian billionaire. You are not practicing their lifestyle. God said, I send every inch of every tree that I have given to you. Some of the shall say hallelujah. I, I, I hope you get in the understanding. I hope you get in the understand. You have a business. You don't expect that every person that comes to your hairdressing shop to be a holy ruler. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, you get your you get your donor business. You don't have, you don't expect every brother or every sister that walk in that place to be straight. Right. You you are you are not there to look at their lifestyle. Right. You are inviting them to support your business. All right, all right. Hallelujah. Yes. The earth was given to all what to profit from it. Yes. Say, neighbor, yes. this earth yes. was given to you yes. to profit from it. Yes. And the trees that God bless you with. Yes. Uh, what do you see? I see men are trees. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so you don't go about criticizing people. What a dress. How they look, how fat they are. Hallelujah. Take time to list it. Instead of running your mouth. Some of us, we run our mouth so much that the blessing run away from us. Is that right? This person has been ordained to be a blessing to you. You don't know the reason for which God allowed them to come in your life. Yes. They come in your life because you have the service to render them. Yes. Come on, is that right? right? We are living in the time of demand and service. If you are in demand, the women's session can run to you for your services. Yes. Uh, is that right? right? If you are in demand, even the witchcraft can come to you for your services. If you are in demand, is that right? Jesus grew in wisdom, having favor with God and with men. When God started to give you favor with men, hallelujah, it is not your business to go tell them what to wear or what not to wear. Your business here to let your life shine so shine before them. Let them see your good works and glorify your heavenly Father. Somebody shall say hallelujah. You see, look at the light. The light can shine. Jesus says, shine the light. Shine. Let your light, let your work so shine. Let your, let your light so shine before them. Yes. Let them see what? Your good words that they will glorify your heavenly Father. One of the characteristics of this light, the light do not make noise. Uh oh. You sitting now under the light, it's shining on you, but you don't hear any noise. Sometimes we miss so many negative noise and it cause spirit to run away from us. It cause our blessing to leave us because we think that we are all holy rulers. Some of the shall say hallelujah. God is sending that young lady to you or that young woman to you because they are in need of you. Is that right? And if they're in need of your services, then they're going to pay for your services. Oh, who the Lord talking to you this morning? Some of the shots that I'm blessed, I'm healed, and I'm delivered. Oh, yes. And sometimes we don't get there. Because we think that we are all that. You have your fault. I have my fault. Is that right? Jesus put it this way. The wheat and the tear dwell together. When I come, I will do what? I will do what? The separation. But... You cannot get to the blessings. Someone, let me tell you somewhere, the same book, Genesis 4 and 12. Somebody read that for me quick. Let me show you something quick. Then I'll take you to where God wants you to read the message lies. Genesis chapter 4 and 12. Please tend to, tend to it quick. Hallelujah. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
every tree of the garden. You can freely eat of it. This is agriculture. You plenty fine, you plenty. God said, I gave you a land to make agriculture. Somebody, uh, uh, Genesis 4 and 12. Anybody got it? Or uh, 4, 4 and 2. 4 and 2, uh huh. Genesis 4 and 2. Somebody got it here? Let's and go. She again. Uh -huh. and his brother Abel. I can't hear you. And she again uh -huh. buried his brother Abel. Mm -hmm. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Abel or what? A keeper of sheep. A keeper of sheep. Yes, Lord. Abel, Abel was an industrialist. Uh, uh, so was uh, Cain. Uh -huh. uh, who was Cain? But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Cain was a farmer, a tiller of the ground. One was industrialized into cattle, into sheep. My father is rich in horses and land. He holds what? The power of the word in his hand. Is that right? Here we have two brothers. One, both of them are industrialists. One is with animals. And one is with the farmers. Look the Lord talking to him here. And God said, I'm in order for you to benefit from under earth, the trees and the agriculture under earth, you have to position yourself with him. Abel learn how to position himself with God. So God accepted his sacrifice. God accepted his, his industrials. Is that all right? But, 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 but look at this. King made a vow to God, but he did not keep that vow. The vow that both of them made that they would bring the first fruits to God. Uh, somebody say first fruit. Somebody say first fruit. That they would bring first fruit to God. Eva was on key point. Eva was able to make the sacrifice. But yet, King was not able. To keep, my goodness, the promises or the vow that he had already purposed and he had to make to God. So what happened? If you read Genesis chapter 3, you will find out that the, 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 the cross, the cross that King brought to God, they were already cursed. Because the ground had been cursed. And the crops that came off the ground were cursed. So King brought things that were cursed unto God. Therefore, God rejected them. Oh, you can have to have a seat. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. We have people that will bring that level over to God. Uh, you hear? Yeah, it was wise to bring the first fruits. King is bringing a level over unto God. When you make a vow to God, keep your vow. Yeah. Who the Lord I'm talking to here? Yeah. You want for God to bless things that are of a righteous nature in your hands, not things that have already been cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Who the Lord I'm talking to here? Yeah. Somebody shouts, and I'm blessed, I'm, blessed. I'm healed, yeah. and I'm yeah. delivered. So you, God said, now I will not just make you uh, an agriculturalist, but I will make you an industrialist. I will come on now. As you keep your vow to, to him, he keeps his promise to you. Is that right? That's right? As you keep your vow to him, he keeps the word to you. Right. I will bless though I am, I can bless. I will have mercy on those I can have mercy on. Some of the shouts say hallelujah. King I hate, but Abel I love. Some Jacob I hate, but Isaac I love. Despite of how tricky and trister Isaac was, Isaac was able to give good gift to God. Say neighbor, what are you giving to the Lord? Oh, what kind of gift are you giving to the Lord? I don't know why. You better live in like a chicken instead of living like an eagle. Right. Somebody shout say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
because 